Democrats have lost their fucking minds. Let's go ahead and cue the intro and talk about impeachment. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of DNA Crows. I'm your host, Andrew the Comet Crow, and this is Dean the D in DNA Crows. I like that very smooth, crisp intro. Those, those long titles you were giving yourself it sounded like a Skin like a king or a, a duke or something. Well, YouTube. Also, channel. the Dean in DA Talks. Oh, My name is DA Talks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no. Uh, with the uh, Mueller has basically been subpoenaed, mm-hmm. or, or well, I don't think he's been subpoenaed yet. He said that he will not willingly testify in front of Congress yeah. unless he gets subpoenaed. Because um, he would just be adding. He'd just be repeating the repeating, same thing that's in yeah. his report. Um, and for some Which reason, is no collusion. <laughs> <laughs> no collusion. I remember that in the room. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, but Democrats have shifted it to obstruction. Now, here's the thing that we've already talked about. It's hard to <laughs> obstruct from a crime that never happened. Yeah. I, and the thing is, Mueller did not choose to indict on obstruction. He specifically left that to the attorney general. And whatever you want to think of William Barr, he decided not to prosecute for obstruction. So Congress has decided to redefine what that means into it being, well, Mueller, obviously what he really meant because because his actual text doesn't matter, what they've interpreted his text to mean, uh, is that he's left it up to Congress so that Congress can impeach. Because Congress, they, they know so much more than anybody else does, even though they're the most idiotic people on the planet. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot more to say. I'm dumb. sorry, this is... Yeah, well, so here's the thing that I'm thinking. I don't think Democrats can actually win the election, period. I think they are so fractured. I think their policies are are a joke of the ones that they've actually been able to define. Um, and their their main goal here is to try to get Trump impeached and then just run against uh, Mike Pence, and which I think that they might actually be able to win an election against Mike Pence. Yeah. I think a, I think it's hard not to win against I Mike think, Pence. I think a bar of soap could probably win against Mike Pence. No, no offense to all, to, to the one Pence fan. Yeah, there's like one of you guys, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was a weird. Well, I, I mean, I think the choice was that he wanted someone that was really, really strict and moral compared to him being not moral at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like yeah. Trump, but like the dude is, uh, <laughs> Dude ain't straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess that makes sense when you think about wanting to win over the like heavily morally con- uh, Christian. Yeah. The, vote. Uh, yeah. There, there is that. There is that religious vote that I don't think Trump would be able. To, actually, you know, but they they are really hardcore Trump supporters now because they hated <laughs> they they hated Obama yeah. and they really hate Clinton. So I, I don't know if you really needed Pence, but at the end of the day. Um, when it goes back to this talk about impeachment, you know, you've had um, Cory Booker, Spartacus, Mala Harris, the lady who slept her way to the top, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, uh, <laughs> Beto O'Rourke, you know, Skater Bra. Uh, no, did you watch, uh, did you see Beto O'Rourke's video where he <laughs> outed himself as an asshole? I did not. Oh, yeah, he's with his staff and he's just like, they're all like huddled together and he's like, I just want to say I'm so proud of you guys, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm not the easiest guy to work with. I know I can be a bit of an asshole. <laughs> and nobody, nobody disagreed. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. I don't, I don't disagree either. He seems like the kind of guy who just wants to, like, fuck around with life. And he sees an opportunity to build up his own brand, and he's just taking advantage of it. And uh, I think he's a terrible person. Only in the sense I that... I mean, I'm not sure. I don't think anybody knows who Beto O'Rourke is. Yeah, I, when I say I think he's a terrible person, I mean, I think he's wasting everybody's time. What he'd rather do is go out into a parking lot and play on his goddamn skateboard. Or his tech deck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can could, I could see Beto O'Rourke in his office, like, no calls! <laughs> and then he just... He just... He just yeah. <laughs> I, those are so old. But so is Beto. So, I mean, they're all old. We're all old. Yeah, we're... Got bags under my eyes. Always had bags under my eyes. I had bags under my eyes when I was a teen. 
Yeah, I've had them since. Well, kind of one up me, dude. <laughs> but um, look, they're my, bad. Yeah, so, <laughs> they gotten so much worse. I think so, we need. So, so uh, the, the, these four have basically decided that um, impeachment is the only way forward. And I'm going to say that these four are the people who have absolutely no shot at winning against Donald Trump. So, well, I think Joe Biden, um, Joe Biden does, but I don't think Joe Biden is pushing for impeachment. I don't think Joe Biden has to publicly push for it. Yeah, and honestly, I don't even think Joe Biden really has a shot. Because you can't use the same argument that uh, Trump uh, goes after women and shit like that. Because first off, Trump's hired so many women to work in his cabinet um in in very high level positions uh and that won't stop the argument it won't but then you can flip the argument to basically creepy uncle joe and of that there is plenty to fire at joe yeah, biden for. um i don't think those are fair arguments but i do i would Th say women have also come forward and accused joe biden the same way they like to say that women have come forward and accused donald trump i'm not yeah. saying it's a fair argument yeah I i'm think, not i'm I, just I saying those that are just dumb arguments. i'm just saying that if you're going to start slinging mud yeah. on that ground trump, trump there's would sling the mud too there's plenty no, of i don't think i don't think biden would be dumb enough to you to, to argue that no um, i think his supporters would um yeah but i just i mean like as far as like states and everything um i think the smart move would be to uh i had a i had a point talked over me yeah shut up you democrat <laughs> pig cue the outro <laughs> <laughs> uh no i there's really not much to this they've been they've wanted to do impeachment from the get they wanted trump out of office by any means necessary they're not interested in debating him on actual policies they're just interested in removing him from office because to them he should not be there it's it's totally unfair you have, what, what were you telling uh uh j man in your in, in his stream hillary clinton is doing the <laughs> are you okay <laughs> so dumb she's out there hillary clinton is out there doing um so you guys know at um college graduations when they invite a motivational speaker and the speaker is supposed to be motivational and instead they invited hillary clinton most bitter woman on the planet <laughs> still, at this point who's still talking about why the election was stolen from her <laughs> she's she's out there at these motivational graduation speeches talking about the Mueller report. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are on their cell phone like, God fucking damn this cunt. I just want to go home and sleep. <laughs> yeah, like half those kids are hungover, I'm sure. And then on top of I don't know, there's like there's been some really cool motivational like college speeches that i've watched before yeah but like, now you have hillary clinton over there going like you know the Mueller report said this and i think it's our duty to impeach the president they're like what does this have to do with us graduating <laughs> yeah like i remember i watched one where charlie day from all the poli um, sci majors so they're like yeah <laughs> like all five of them yeah all five probably I actually i would i would probably i would be down to get a degree in political science i'd like to join the political world we're, we're already in it with the youtubes <laughs> i'd like to professionally <laughs> you say we're not professionals they show some respect for our channel dude oh that's not professional yeah look, dude, I, 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 <laughs> you're sitting here without you know here's this is a sign of how ridiculous it is we can't have a serious conversation over this because it's such a ridiculous thing to do but Democrats are going to do it because <laughs> Jesus Christ, they've lost their fucking minds. Um, I got, I have absolutely nothing more to add to this one. Nope. Remember the uh, the conversation doesn't end here. Remember to uh, tell us what you think in the comments section. Tell me. Remember to tell me. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, like and it. we'll see you soon. I'll see you very soon. I'll see you through your window at night. Bathroom. All right, cut, cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs>